Hi, this is Dr. Eric Yonash, Professor of Medicine at UTMD Anderson Cancer Center. And today I'm going to talk to you about updated data on the LightSpark001 study of Belzutifan in advanced solid tumors. And this is an update of the clear cell renal cell carcinoma cohort with more than three years of follow-up. And this was presented at ASCO this year. So Belzutifan is a small molecule inhibitor of hypoxia-inducible factor 2-alpha, or HIF2-alpha. And this novel oral small molecule uh, demonstrated the ability to prevent HIF2-alpha mediated transcription of a number of factors in cell lines, and then went into clinical studies uh, in about four or five years ago and resulted in the FDA approval of this agent in individuals with hereditary von Hippel-Lindau disease. It's also being extensively studied in advanced sporadic clear cell renal cell carcinoma. And this particular poster is an update on the 41 month follow-up in this 55 patient study. So these individuals had advanced clear cell renal cell carcinoma, had a median of three prior therapies and received belzutifan 120 milligrams by mouth per day. The primary endpoint of this trial was safety in the 1B portion and then efficacy uh, in, the, in the, the phase two part. So the, the data after 41 months, the key take home here is that these data continue to hold up based on prior uh, reporting of these, uh, of these data, uh, including at, in the, our paper in Nature Medicine in 2021. What we see here is that we maintain the, the response rate of uh, 25%. Uh, we maintain um, the overall uh, disease control rate of 80%. And the median progression-free survival uh, remains at 14.5 at months. The uh, toxicity uh, data end up being, uh, again, fairly similar over time with anemia, which is an on-treatment effect as HIF2-alpha is a transcription factor for erythropoietin, being one of the most common side effects, fatigue and also hypoxemia being uh, one of the side effects. And we did not really see any new safety signals with this uh, further follow-up. Uh, this particular study led to the uh, development of a phase three trial, uh, LightSpark005, which randomized uh, Belsutifan versus Everolimus. And uh, this trial has completed accrual and we're waiting for a readout in the next year or so. And this is going to be the first sort of registrational study for Belzutifan in individu individuals with advanced renal cell carcinoma. There are a number of other studies looking at this agent in combination with both checkpoint antibodies, TKIs, and a variety of other compounds uh, in individuals with advanced renal cell carcinoma. So in summary, uh, the 41-month follow-up in this particular study demonstrate continued benefit and no new safety signals in individuals with advanced renal cell carcinoma uh, who received uh, belzutifen. Uh, further note is we are seeing also that by IMDC risk score, as well as by prior treatment type, these, uh, these, this, these data hold up and we don't really see any dramatic shift from, from one subgroup versus the other. And uh, this remains a promising and active agent for renal cell carcinoma. Mm -hmm.